Hello, and welcome to Sleepless Ronin Plays The Sims 4. I'm just gonna show off a house I recently built, because it took me several days of building it, and I relatively like it. It's kind of a very modern house, and I just wanted to throw together a quick little video. I needed something, and uh, this seems to fill a space. Not a big fan of the new way they do the menus here. Whatever. I've chosen this area because I'm just going to put a bunch of different houses in as I can continuously design new houses. Okay, well, this is the house on the outside. We're coming in from the front area. Let's just do a quick uh, overview of the whole house. You can see I've got some nice uh, glass ceiling windows on there. I haven't done a lot with the backyard of the decks yet. I've been thinking about what to do with them. I just put a couple things out there. A little sauna and a little uh, hot tub on the deck. And the side yard is pretty bare on this end. That's because it abuts right next to these trees. So I didn't think I needed to do too much over there. This view we can kind of see all the different rooms as they're laid out. I tried to do a relatively open floor plan. I looked at a whole bunch of modern actual real homes in the real world before I began building this. I didn't copy them exactly because real homes have a lot more hallways in some cases or a lot more small little areas that just don't seem all that useful. But I tried to pay attention to some of the interesting angles and stuff like that they had in them and how they built things off and ran some connections. So, so that's the lower floor. And that's the upper floor. And again, the roof. So This one I really did try to keep the hall like this overly long hallway in which connects kind of like two social small social areas which I didn't do a huge amount with because I wasn't 100% certain how I wanted them to find to fully be in the game itself but now let's actually go in and explore via the front door I moved the mailbox back from the edge of the street up here because I think it's a nicer area and there's some water features around the outside with lights in there I doubt they're going to show up properly at night. For some reason, I, the lights in the water just don't show up for me all the time. But it's a good... I'm going to turn it to night. So it's a good way of seeing what some of the lighting is like for the house. So the front door is uh, highly decorative. And enters into a, a... A very fast entrance, which has... a. This has been repurposed into a bedroom. It was not originally a bedroom in the, in the design of my idea. But repurposed into one. Then I have a shoe nook. Which, there's a bug right here going on. I can see through there. Which is kind of interesting. But, yeah. It, it's still there. I did a little shoe nook just because I want some place for people to put their stuff. I think I'm putting like some coats on the walls right here. I just haven't gotten all the details in. 100%. Which opens into a... Kind of like a front, like... Living room area. Which I've purposed into a TV viewing area on one side. And kind of like a nature-observing reading area on the other side. Then, it goes. this one leads into the library. Well, not the library, but the office area. Which has a Murphy bed in it for any guests. I know in The Sims 4 that means largely this is a death trap. Because Murphy beds murder people. But still. Lots of nice little... uh details on the desk don't ask me where i downloaded all my assets from i have way too many i've downloaded and added to the game things like this are much larger i've used the uh, brackets keys to shrink them down in size and yes i am using a load oops i use uh, the move objects cheat constantly Use that cheat. I mean, I just don't know how you play this game without this cheat. That cheat at the point in time. Ah, yes. An individual room air conditioning. Thank you, Seasons. So again, we've got our main entry area. This is big and open and airy and not really filled with anything important. It leads right up into the dining room, which I've put a shelf up there so I can put some actual photographs on when I'm playing the game. Just, you know, a little bit of something for some livelihood and a good meal area. Which looks into these. These are swimming pool areas I've used to create like massive outdoor fish aquariums. If you look, you can actually see there are fish in there. So, 
Yes, big, massive outdoor fish aquariums. Again, like I said, modern home, really expensive modern home, but modern home. Then I have like a little office nook, like a computer nook for like anybody to use. It's very, very uh, functional. Then we go into the kitchen. It's a very minimalist designed kitchen. The, everything's very white, very clean, very, very minor. Yes, there is no stovetop, but I've designed this for the purpose of actually playing the game. And I won't let my Sims have a stovetop until everybody in the house is at cooking level 3. Because otherwise, someone's going to light the house on fire because Sims are incompetent. Then we have some shelving and a bunch of storage. It's external, you know, just to make it look like it's lived in. It's very decorated. We got house, we got keys and dice and variety of like spices and cell phone rechargers and wine bottles and folders for like cooking recipes. And we have the same thing on this side. A detached sink area with a bunch of wine bottles and stuff like that near it. And a little plant. And the trash can. I couldn't think of a good place for the trash can, so it ends up sitting on the outside. Then I've got kind of like a mud room area. It's not really a mud room, it's just like a little bit like a like in a side room. That comes off the back area, which leads out to the uh yes, this is a hot spring. But it leads right into the utility. Which is jam-packed with all kinds of cleaning supplies, laundry hampers, a very bare minimums light. And a, uh, standing on top of each other washer and dryer. So let's go over to this, uh, this not a bedroom bedroom. This originally would have been like some sort of like arboretum or area like that. So I gave it a more rustic-ish feel. What I've decided to turn it into though is it's turned into like an artist's bedroom. Painting and gardening and woodworking, variety of crafts, there's even some meditation, so... It's kind of like an artist's bedroom. I, I one of the purpose, person in the family I'm envisioning. Oh, and it sits out right side, out beside the outside garden, and just as a motorcycle. So I've kind of envisioned this as a place for like an artist to live, or to bed down. They got very very rustic-ish nightstands, very very simple bedding, and then lots of like areas to practice their crafts and their skills. Then we have the bathroom. I, again, I kind of went with the idea of being it kind of like a shop a little bit and gave it a more industrialish bathroom feel. Metal tubs, a sunken pit area for the shower with a giant mirror on it because you need some place to shave and stuff like that. Yes, it's open concept design. I imagine all of my windows, had this been like a house I would have dined, would have tinted or fogged over or had like blinds, but they don't really have great ones for blinds. I don't really like the color of that towel rack. That's a bit better. So again, just some artwork and stuff like that. And other various things in this bathroom. Again, it's supposed to have been like a utility area. I'm not sure it would have been a bathroom originally the purpose of the design of the house, but it's been modified into one. Now, apparently I forgot to remove this window when I add the bathroom in. So I'm just going to leave it alone. It's kind of funny right there. Really, really rude. So this is one of the staircases that leads upstairs. There's a little corner turn. But let's go explore the master bedroom on the lower floor. Oh, yeah. Here's the other staircase that goes upstairs as well. And I have a little alcove right here. It's a little bit of wasted space I didn't want included in the kitchen. But I also didn't want it just to be this, like, sharp walkway right there. I wanted to give the hallway more of an appearance of space. So I made a little alcove with just a lamp in it. The idea I have for right here is you'd have the artwork along the walls, but I don't have any artwork installed yet. And these are a kind of light that appears like it's like on like a giant wooden beam. I like those. Those are kind of cool. Okay. The master bedroom is somewhat Japanese-inspired. You can see the Japanese bed. I do believe this actually is from Mount Komorebi. I've got a Japanese lamp. Tatami mat flooring. The tatami mat flooring is not from Mount Komorebi. Or, sorry, um... Snowy Escapes. Because, quite honestly... Maxis, EA Maxis screwed up and they didn't give you a good to time at flooring panel. You need to have them with U's in the dark color so that you can make them look like they're 2 meter by 1 meter sections. That's an appropriate time at. Really easy. Took me 5 seconds to Google online to find it. So, yeah. I went and downloaded a better to time at than the one that actually came in the expansion pack. Lazy. Bad. Design. Another wonderful little uh, aquarium off the side. This uh, dresser comes from out uh, from uh, Snowy Escapes as well. 
And there's little, some little details like a camera and things like that in there. I put a little chair in there for reading. And there, I think this is a, a full-length mirror dresser. And then there's some bookshelves. And then it's connect, connected to a really posh bath. This is an expensive, nice tub. We got a little bit of like a... Uh, step on thing with some drain right there in case there's overflow kind of like a actual japanese style a big open air shower with a with mirror with a windowing on there yeah i'm using the shame shower, shower heads in all the places and again i like to throw in all these little details like the the uh shampoos and the uh deodorant towels and stuff like that just to make it like look like the house has been lived in and so this is a decoration added this right here is a decoration on its own separate from the tub so it looks like there's more Spray nozzles and things like that. And then again, of course, more decoration. And yes, toilet paper. Lots of toilet paper. Every bathroom has a stock of toilet paper. I do believe this mirror is from Mount Como Raby, so it's nice. And I just added a shelf in between the mirror and the sink right here. And a hand towel. So people could put all their makeup and their personal uh, hygienics items on there. And of course a cell phone holder because it's the modern era and everybody puts their, takes their cell phone into the bathroom. I haven't actually done anything other than add a punching bag for exercise to this outer area right here. This is something I have to figure out how to do. I think I'm maybe putting a grill out here or something like that, but I won't be doing that until, again, my Sims have cooking level 3, so they don't light the house on fire every time they start up a grill. Okay, so starting from this staircase right here, we'll move upstairs to this room. Big outside windows looking looking at things i got a little computer uh computer station up here so anybody can use it cell phones clocks note cards business cards a printer and it's right next to a wet bar i've been thinking about adding some more chairs in here but i unfortunately put these big well, i like them these big double doors right up here in the front to make it look very much like opening out into the back patio area big light scan uh, uh stand and then a massively long window. This is actually a window in multiple parts. Again, downloaded from some asset somewhere online. Which connects into one of the bedrooms. I kind of envision this as being like a teenager's bedroom. You know, we got uh, speakers and old school stuff on there. And they've got their own computer desk and some mirrors. And I really like that bookcase. I don't know where I got that from. But again, wonderful, wonder, one of the wonderful assets, it fits over a doorway. So it's really kind of cool. You kind of just put that in there. You get your door that goes under the bookcase. Ah, oh, so imaginative. Nice little bed. Another clock. Makeup desk. Connected to this bathroom, which is a modernish bathroom. That's kind of like hyper modern. Very, uh, very full. You'll notice this one's got like a lot of toothbrush stuff in here. Hang on. Oh yeah, there's my sink. A very minimalist sink. I couldn't put anything directly by the sink. So I put it back here on this little like rotating uh, tower way. And like, got at least soap and stuff like that. So you actually notice that that soap tray is on top of some towels, which is something really cool. Again, I added that little detail in. So, all these assets I've downloaded across the net and stuff like that to make my stuff like more awesome. Like that mirror is separate from the actual bath, uh, the actual shower here. There's the mirror, the sink, that's a separate piece. So all this stuff's really built up and into here. Again, more stuff for ablutions, and so forth and so on. Very, you'll notice there's also a double connected bathroom. It goes into the bedroom, but out into the hallway, because across the way, we have a kid's bedroom. I've got two single beds, a little study desk, some toys, various things, more toys, books, more toys and books. And because one of the children I think is musically inclined, I gave them a keyboard with a little light stand. I probably have some like various artwork put up on here, but I don't have that yet yet installed. And that leads us over to like this little reading nook. Just a bookcase, which I need to put more books into. And a couple of chairs sitting under some light. Lots of windows. And then we're on the outside. Like I said, the external area right here. Just a sauna and a hot tub and a little bench for now. And some yoga mats. I haven't done enough with that. It needs more. But the whole house is designed to be hyper-modern. Very open glassy. I mean, that's kind of like a modern theme. 
My 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 actual real life neighbor that lives across the street, half his house is like see through glass walls. The other half is like concrete bricks, like industrial bricks. So yeah, go figure. I did a little bit of gardening on the outside. That's something I just started doing. Throwing some rocks and grasses down. Put these in here and make this look nice. And these are actually running water features when the game is actually running. So it's pretty cool. Plenty of outside light around that area. I need to do something right here, some decoration, but I haven't yet. Really? That is my modernist house design. I, I had fun making it. It took me quite a while to... I was trying to do all kinds of experiments and odd things. Like, you know, I'd never actually put glass rooftops on and so forth. It was kind of fun, though. And this is a lot of roofing panels. Like, you'll notice, like, right here, we got one, two, three roofing panels just for that section. Then four, five. So two more right there. And three separate roofing panels. So just in the area that actually has angled roofs, it's this whole section. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight roof panels. And then the other part is just a topper, which I used a platform on to give it that extra thickness. Those platforms are really nice. I'm going to give it like a marble coating just because, you know, ooh, fancy. I use a lot of pillars on corners because it gives them like extra sturdiness and makes it look really nice. So, and I gave a lot of bushes along the backyard because you don't, nobody needs to be wandering on that back area. That is a modern house design by me. I like it. I'm quite proud of that one. I'm hoping to do something similar to the other, uh, some of the other locations on this area. And I am always downloading new assets. I mean, like, I think I add like 10 or 15 new assets to the game alone today. I just kind of have a compulsion to keep adding assets into my game. Well, I know this wasn't a heck of a lot of, you know, a giant huge video. And I didn't explain how to do anything. I just want to show off a house I made in The Sims 4. So, yeah, there we go. I made a house in The Sims 4. Very modern, very open, a lot of windows, a lot of light. Hope you enjoyed. This is Sleepless Ronin saying, Sayonara, and we'll catch you next time.